Hello, my name's Ben Brain. In this video lesson, we're going to take a quick look at Photoshop CS5's new Refine Edge tool and see how we can use it to create detailed extractions around typically tricky areas, such as the hair on our model here. Let's zoom in and just take a quite closer look. And you can see that this intricate hair would present a problem to a lot of retouchers. OK, so the first thing we're going to do is just zoom out just a little bit so we can see everything that's going on. And let's go to the tool bar on the left hand side and select the quick selection tool. And what I'm going to do is just mark out, as you can see, I'm not being very precise here at all, a very quick selection. And if I just hit Alt, you just see that my cursor changes to a minus and I can just get rid of those little imperfections. And you can see I've made a literally in a matter of seconds a quick selection using my quick selection tool. So now let's, now let's hit the refine edge button at the top and this is where the magic really begins. And now you can see we are in the refine edge window. We've got a new dialog box here and our background has gone black. Let's just zoom in so we can see what's going on because it's these areas of hair that we really want to focus on. So that should be quite good. Let's just keep it about there. And now you can see that our background has gone black. We can change this by changing one of the view modes from this drop down menu here. We can see we have a variety of seven different viewing modes and you can cycle through those using the F key. So let's just have a look and you can see that our selection is now represented events against a variety of backgrounds. And one is not necessarily better than the other. It just really depends on what images you are making a selection from. So some will work better in different scenarios. So you can cycle through, the, through those using the F key or as you can see there's a nifty little keyboard shortcut uh, that you can see at the end of each of the various modes and that can be quite useful to flip between modes during your cycle. So let's just whiz down to white and let's start looking at how the Refine Edge tool works. Okay, the best way to show you what's going on here is to just have a quick look at the show radius. And let's just check this little fellow here. And you can see now that our image has totally disappeared. That's simply because we haven't specified a radius. So let's bung in, let's say, 10 pixels there. And you should see that our selection is now being mapped with this radius of 10 pixels. But this radius is just equal all around our selection. If we zoom out, we can just see that it's a simple radius just mapping our initial selection. And what we want to do is just look at some of these areas of detail where the hair is here. So if we uncheck that, you can see we've got a little bit more detail coming through there, but it's restricted to that 10 pixels. So what we want to do is expand this area here and keep this area nice and contracted and small. With, it doesn't need a big radius because we've got the hard edge of the jaw against the skin. So one thing we could do is if we were not wanting to mess around too much with the sliders is just hit the smart radius. Let's just give it a few seconds and you can see if I just toggle that on and off you can see you can see the detail gets a little bit um, better. Let me just zoom in so that, that hair so we can really just see. Let's hit H for the hand tool and let's just toggle that. You can see and we can even increase our pixels there takes just a moment. You can see just down there the wheel Let's toggle smart on and off and you can just see we're getting a slightly better selection. So you can tweak these various sliders um, with the smart radius che checked and also increase or decrease the amount of pixels depending on your particular image. Of course you also have the regular adjustment uh, edge adjustments uh, sliders, the smoothing, the feathering, the contrast and the, and the shift edge either to contract or expand and these will all be very useful too. Um, but what I want to do first of all is just show you how you can take a little bit more control over your uh, selections as well. So let's uncheck smart radius and let's bring this back down to about one pixel. Let's just have a look there and you can see that we again got our hard radius just 1.2 pixels wide there. Now what I'm going to do is just take the refine radius tool from the tools panel just here. And what I'm going to do is just mark out the areas where we want the areas of transition where we want more detail to come in. And that'll be these areas of hair. And then you can see that that's already working a treat. 
So let's just move around. So you can move around the image, just expanding that area, that radius. Let's just make our image a little bit smaller. So just so you don't have to watch me doing it for hours. And you can just see as I do this that we're just getting all those lovely little strands of hair back into place. Okay. And that's just a little bit down there. And the rest of our selection is pretty much just the hard edge of the skin. So we don't really need to bother about that. Okay. Let's have a look at that and see how that's going. We can just zoom out a little bit. And you can see we all these delicate strands of hair. Let's take a look at some of some of the other modes. We can cycle through. Look at that fantastic detail in this mask here. The marching ants, not particularly useful. And you can see here, we just got a little bit of this gray background coming through. And there's another great feature on the Refine Edge tool that we can use, and that's decontaminate colors. We're just gonna check that there. And you can see, if I check that on and off, might not be able to see it on your screens, but you can see that a little bit of that gray just stops coming through there. You can even crank the slider up a little bit. There you go. Let's check it on and off. And then you can just see that we're getting rid of some of that gray there. OK, so now let's just take a look at our show radius and let's see what's happening. And then you can see that in our areas of transition, we have this large radius. And then in, in our areas of clearly defined edges, such as the ears and the skin and the side of the clothing, we have this really small, narrow radius. And this is really what we want to be looking for. We can uh, adjust some of these, use these parameters using the regular smoothing, feather, contrast, and soft edges. So we can bring it a little bit more contracted or expanded, and we can boost the contrast a little bit. I'm just going to bring that down just a little bit, because I know that we're going to be putting this against a dark background. OK, and then when we're ready, we can select how we want to output it. So let's just uncheck this so we can see what we see what's going on. Let's um, cycle through to this mode, and let's just click OK because we've got a new layer with layer mask selected. So we can have a variety of options here, but this is a, a, a great one for versatility in your workflow. So let's click OK, and there you see if we just go up to window and layers you can see that we now have a new layer with our detailed selection and now look, just look at this detail in there you can see that we've captured all the intricate detail in the hair and in fact what we can do is we can highlight the mask and you can even refine this further so if you go down the refine mask tool in fact it's exactly the same as the refine edge tool so if i let go of this you'll see that we can take it one step further and we can do it do it again and make some more detailed uh, changes uh, to our selection we've often found that it's quite good to run it through twice and you get a really good effect that way you could just hit smart on the second one maybe put in pixel of two click OK and just let Photoshop do a little bit of the work for you and there you go even a little bit more detail added to our selection there